Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with Jesse Shule. Talk low Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, game one, Pacers and the Celtics. Before we get into that, though, you guys like that, like this video, hit that thumbs up button, share us out. Also, subscribe if you haven't to the channel already. Drop in the comment section what you're into today, what you like in this NBA matchup, where you're going. We like to read the comments, surprisingly. Uh, Pacers, and li listen, comments, unless you're Mr. Numbers and you're going to drop about the Knicks stuff, we don't want to hear that. Pacers, Celtics, minus 10. Total sits at 222. Jesse Shule, where are you going with this one? My man, Mr. Numbers. Uh, somebody <laughs> better do a wellness check after Game 7 in New York. Uh, Lenny, the last time I was on this show with you last week, we were talking about uh, – I had a Pacers bet on the series to win game three and win the series at plus 400. And the subject matter was, should I hedge? And you said no. And I said, I said, listen, if you could get plus 400 heading into game seven, what, what, what would you do? Would you bet on it? Would you bet more on it? Would you, how much would you bet on it? As much as you can probably get your hands on uh, Yeah. So yeah, um, I'm a fan of these Pacers. I like what I see from the Pacers situationally game one coming off of a game seven win is usually not a good spot for them so if they struggle against boston i'm not going to be surprised but uh i do like their chances as a big dog to win this series i think a sprinkle on the series money line is in order Maybe. um and i'm going to look at their team total for this game their team total is rather low 105 and a half uh, did you see the shooting percentage in Game Seven? Because it's yes. you write it down because it's an NBA record: sixty-seven point one percent from the field, fifty-four point two percent from three-point range. Indiana leads the playoffs in field goal percentage. They led the NBA in scoring dur during the regular season. They have the depth. They don't need. They don't rely on one guy either. If Siakam's not on fire, uh, Halliburton can get it done. Uh, and TJ McConnell. TJ McConnell off the bench, man, they got seven guys scoring in double figures. I think Boston's overrated. So I like the Pacers as an underdog in the series, and I like their team total in game one over 105 and a half. Two things. Love, love this look here at just taking the Pacers here. I think Boston probably wins this game. I don't know if they cover. It's a lot of points at nine and a half, ten, and just even for a playoff, for a playoff game. I mean, there's not a lot of defense being played uh, from Boston side or Indiana's. To be honest with you, I look for a shootout kind of situation. I like the Pacers over one and a half. Also, I want to comment on Jesse's tan. Has anybody realized how tan this dude looks? I look like a Casper, the friendly ghost over here. I don't know what's going on, Jesse Shule, but I got to get on that tanning regimen. Uh, promo code Lenny20. Go over to PixelParlays.net. Get yourself some premium plays from Jesse Shule. Best bets. Uh, that's where you get all that stuff. Fix and parlays.net. Use this promo code save you money. That man and his tan will make you money. I'm Detroit Lenny Picks and Parlays. Pacers team total over one and a half. Tuesday, game one, NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Good luck, unless you're against us.